Hi there, it's Ernest from TripAstute. In this video, I'm gonna share my top nine underrated travel items. These are things that don't get a lot of attention, but can easily save the day when you're traveling and away from home. Today, I wanna to talk about things that I carry with me on most trips that aren't slick or fancy, but are essential items that have saved the day on many occasions. We're not talking about packing cubes or backpacks, even though those are awesome tools that help make the process of packing and traveling smoother. Instead, these are simple and basic items that I carry with me that have proven to be extremely handy when traveling. So in no particular order, let's jump straight into the list. Number one, wipes. I know we've mentioned wipes before in several videos, but they are truly a must have item when traveling. They have definitely come in handy when dealing with dirty airplane trays and even when visiting a place with no running water in the bathroom, like many national parks. These things are super handy and cheap, and there's really no reason not to carry a few in your bag. One tip though is to put your wipes in a second plastic bag. For some reason, the packaging from the store seems to often leak, so I often place them in a Ziploc bag to be safe. Number two, pens. Okay. So I know a lot of us use pens less and less every day, especially since more of our life is digital. But one thing that is almost never digital are those pesky customs and immigration forms that you need to fill out when entering another country. And it seems like there's never enough pens on the airplane. So make sure you pack a pen. Actually, pack a few of them and you'll be a hero when you can share them with others. You may even make some new friends. A tip though is to carry pens that won't leak on a plane. You don't necessarily need a fancy space pen either. Most gel and ballpoint pens will work. However, I would avoid rollerball pens as they tend to leak under pressure. Number three, headlamp. You're not gonna win any fashion or hipster awards for wearing one, but these things are super useful. I know that I have a flashlight on my phone, but there are times I wanna have my hands free while still having illumination. An example of this is when I traveled to Vietnam and went through the Kuchi tunnels. We were crawling through the tunnels and holding a phone would not have been practical. I have one that I've used for years and it still works great. It also doubles as an emergency light at home and comes in handy when doing home repairs in dark spaces. Number four, plastic utensil. This little plastic utensil is not only sturdy and reusable, but it saved the day on several occasions. Why? Because I'll often buy foods like yogurt when I travel to not only save money on breakfast, but also because I think it helps my digestive system. Though what often happens is that I realize that I don't have a spoon. And when I ask the store for one, either they don't have them or they want me to buy a whole pack of them, which is both cumbersome and wasteful. After going through this exact scenario in Panama, I decided to get a cheap reusable utensil and it works great. Number five, watch. I know a lot of people just use their mobile phones as their watch. That makes a lot of sense, but I always recommend wearing a watch when traveling. Why? because I tend to burn through my mobile phone battery faster when I'm traveling and using my phone to capture photos and videos. And with the time being more sensitive when you travel, especially when flying or taking a tour, it just makes more sense to have a dedicated watch for the task. I'm also a bit old school, so I like carrying an automatic watch, which means that it doesn't use a battery. I just happen to be a watch geek, so I like the idea of the watch being powered by my motion, but any watch will do. Number six. Spare battery charger. Speaking of mobile phones running out of power, I always carry a small USB battery charger. It comes in useful so many times when traveling and I honestly recommend one to any traveler. They come in a variety of sizes and capacities. I personally love the battery packs made by Anchor and I plan to get a bigger capacity one now that I'm carrying more camera gear and a drone. However, their tiny charger is what I usually carry and it saved me on so many occasions. Number seven, multi-port USB charger. To continue the theme of power and electronics, I recommend carrying a multi-port USB charger. One thing that I've noticed when traveling is that hotels often have very few plugs, especially some of the more dated hotels. This can be an issue if you have multiple devices that need to be charged. Having a multi-port charger allows you to charge many different devices and can even win you some friends at the airport. Again, I highly recommend any chargers made by Anchor. They even make a charger that doubles as a spare battery pack. So check out their gear if you're interested in getting one. Number eight, rain gear. Being in a sudden downpour is no fun, 
especially when you're carrying important items or gear. I sometimes will carry an umbrella with me, but most times I like to pack a poncho. It doesn't take up much room and it works really well to keep me dry. You can get ones that are disposable, but I recommend spending a bit more to get one that's reusable. They are not only more durable, but they also tend to be made of more breathable materials, which is so much more comfortable to wear. Number nine, luggage lock. The last item on my list is the simple luggage lock. The reason that I recommend carrying one is that there have been times when I've checked into a hotel only to find out that there isn't a safe, or even worse, it just doesn't work properly. I usually carry a portable safe with me, but if I don't have it, or if I have items that are too big, I usually just lock it in my suitcase. Now I know that this isn't the best way to secure your items, as the lock can be destroyed or your bag could be cut. It's definitely not going to stop a determined thief, but it's probably enough to deter a curious housekeeper. If you're traveling with some expensive or valuable items, then you're better off carrying it with you during the day or having the front desk secure it in their safe if they offer the service. Also, if you want to use a luggage lock when flying, make sure it's TSA approved if you're traveling to the US, otherwise it'll likely be cut. For US travelers, you should be aware that theft from luggage is much more common around the world than in the US, so it's good practice to lock your luggage when traveling. What underrated items do you carry when traveling? Is there anything that you've used that saved the day? Please let us know in the comment section below. I've posted links to the products shown in this video. TripAstute does get a percentage if you use our link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps us to continue building content for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. If you wanna be in the loop of channel activities and giveaways, then make sure you sign up for our newsletter on our website. Until next time, travel safe, Travel smart.